Hey folks, parallel to this I'm also working on the G-Sync video, but I've been in uh, contact with other very nice Reddit users and one of them showed me a video that I could uh, show you all on the Samsung Neo G9 monitor that apparently um, shows how the full array local dimming is working in HDR and uh, you can also see some pluming effects, he told me, and well, I guess we'll do this now. Let me just show you here what I have set up. We are on display port. We have 240 Hertz. HDR is on on the monitor. Adaptive sync is on, of course. Uh, local dimming is set to auto. And on Windows, we have activated HDR, so everything should be good to go. Okay, I'll make the video big now and restart it. And when all else is gone, I will zoom in. Checking if the camera is in focus, but it looks like the camera is really in focus. And when I watch this video beside the camera, I would say that what my eye sees and what I see on the small camera screen is pretty similar. Well, I suggest you now watch the video yourself. So, um, yeah, well, just we just watch it and slow down if you want to see something. After this, there's another video I found that apparently is also very good to test local dimming. So I'm gonna do this next. It would be very interesting to see this video as a comparison on the OLED, I think. So maybe I can run this on the OLED in a separate video. I'm well, not sure if I'm qualified enough to judge all this here. It looks good to me. Really, it looks good. But there are some parts where um, where the whole image is brightening up a little bit when more lights are, are, are on. So maybe that's the local dimming array at work. Uh, here was such an effect. That was a strange effect. And here too, there are some dark, dark uh, fragments wandering through the screen. I hope it is visible on the camera. It looks rather funny. So the local dimming is getting on its borders in this video. I hope we see this on the big screen in the video. This is not perfect. This is not perfect. So maybe we found some limits here also. There are some, yeah, like a square, square fragments that I see. On the plasma television and on OLED. This would be interesting. We'll do this. I'll have to do this on the plasma and on the OLED. So we really have a comparison. All right, I'll just keep the video running. We'll do the second video now that I wanted to show. We are installing here Alex and I I just bought Metro Exodus because another nice user told me that this would be a good game to test HDR, but it'll take a while until it's installed. So we have this test here I found. 
It's apparently a local dimming test. It tests your full array local dimming backlight. And yeah, well, pretty good rated. Okay, let's go back and start, please. Maybe let me kill the other video here. My bandwidth is uh, when I download three games right now. So my bandwidth, I have 1000 uh, megabit, but it's getting on border. Okay, let me let me try to follow this dot here a little closer. Just hope the camera stays in focus. There is a, a halo around the dot. Uh, not sure. Yeah, I think I see it also in the camera. So I think on the big screen we should see this. Interesting. Okay. But in all honesty, still this this monitor is is way ahead of everything else besides OLED, and for us computer users, I'm still very very happy with it, even though the local dimming may still have its limits. It's a a big leap forward for us. I mean seriously, look at the video from yesterday on those bright light bleeding screens we had to deal with for so many years. And now take a look at this. All right, and I don't know what is supposed to happen here. Uh, all right, I think that this was it. Okay, I'm gonna upload this video, and later tonight I will also um, do the G-Sync video. See you then. Thanks. Bye bye. Uh, it's still me. I uh, just went to the other computer that is currently connected via HDMI to the monitor and wanted to upload the video, but then I thought, oh well, why not run the same uh, blooming lights test here on the HDMI connected computer too. So we are now again in Windows 11. We have HDR is on here and we have 100 44 Hertz, which is the maximum for HDMI. I now have a brand new HDMI cable from yesterday for those that did not get the info yet. But even with this brand new high speed cable, 144 Hertz is maximum. But we have HDR on and well, then it should run. Let's see how the monitor performs with this video in HDMI. Back here. And it's the lights. Wait till everything moves away. All right, I zoom in again. Okay, this is HDMI now. And before we had DisplayPort. I only make this video, I think. The other one was not that good. There was a slight stutter here, but this may have been my internet connection. Also here, I think it's it's good. No artifacts yet, but on the display part video they came later. Not on, not here. Those strange artifacts I spoke about. Still no artifacts. Zooming a little bit more in now, even. What I see, I'm not sure if you see that, the sides of the monitor are not as dark as they were with DisplayPort. So apparently the local dimming is 
a little bit brighter on the sides. Not sure why, when it's connected via HDMI. Maybe that's the reason there, there are no artifacts yet. Because it's not to the lights are not totally turned off. It's just my theory. But there were no artifacts yet. Or no. Well, in all honesty, I would prefer this one right now. Even though the sides are a little bit brighter, it's still very dark. This is still plasma CRT level niveau, but not as dark as OLED. Yeah, I think the artifacts are gone right now. Hmm. Is there anything more? I, no, no, I can't change anything again. We are HDMI, local dimming is on auto, HDR is on, it's as good as it gets, but it's different than display part. That's interesting. No artifacts, definitely not. I hope we see this on the big screen. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> okay, uh, let me quit this here. Okay, now we are done. Now I'll upload the video.